for the next month, I am going to eat canned food every day. Better get used to the taste of sardines. So a few months back, I was walking through the canned food aisle. And I turned to my dad and I said, you know, I'd like to have a few of those because I think they taste delicious, but they're not very good for you. And he informed me that they were actually considered to be healthy. And at first I didn't believe him, but I did a little bit of research and I have to say there is a case to be made for canned food, not just in health, but in taste, in preservation, in cost, and I wanted to talk about a few of those today, and to make the statement that for the next month, I am going to be eating canned food every day. Most of you probably know that canned food can last a long time. That's why it was invented. During the Napoleonic Wars, uh, the French government was looking for a way to preserve food for the soldiers and offered a 12,000 franc reward, and Nicholas Appert invented canning. But I thought it could last forever, for the longest period of time, until I discovered that most likely it's going to um, be about one to five years before it becomes inedible. But there are some weird circumstances where it may last longer than that. In 1865, on the Missouri River, the Bertrand ship sank. And 109 years later, they dug it back up again and found out that the canned food with, within it uh, was still edible. So none of the scientists ate it, though, so there's that. What if I were to tell you that you could get more than a dozen oysters for a reasonable price? Well, the first question you might ask yourself is, what, what do you mean? Oysters usually sell for about 30 to $20. Well, how much do you think this cost? You might be thinking to yourself, 20, 15, 10, maybe five at the least, a dollar. This whole thing of more than a dozen oysters cost only a dollar. I mean, you just can't beat those prices. And now we get into the subject that I'm sure a lot of you all were wondering about, the health benefits. There is a surprising amount to say in canned foods defense. It's considered nutritious, and a lot of those vitamins and uh, fat solubles are being preserved by the canning process. There are a few things to say against it. One is botulism. But here's the problem with the botulism argument. That is only happening in extreme circumstances. So I think this is the thing that people fear about canned food when people talk about it. But it's just so rare. I've looked at the statistics, the facts, and what you should know is that it's just grown-up talk. All that stuff about botulism is just grown-up talk. In fact, I'm going to give you a few more examples of grown-up talk. You can't slide down the banister like in an 80s movie. <laughs> grown-up talk. You know, Pokemon Go is dangerous. You might get run over by a car. <laughs> grown-up talk. You just got that business suit. You shouldn't be jumping around in a mud puddle. <laughs> Grown-up talk. You know, you shouldn't actually suck on balloons. It could cause lung damage. <laughs> Grown-up talk. Adults aren't allowed in the playground center of McDonald's. <laughs> Grown-up talk. Make it a meme, folks. Make it a meme. Please. But there is also some other side effects, mostly doing with the heart. Um... You know, canned food has a lot of salt and sugar in it sometimes, or it could, according to Healthline. So, just wash it off with water. That's all you really gotta do. It's, I'm not impressed with the arguments against canned food, is what I'm trying to say. Do -do -wah, do -do -wah, wah. 
So, I can understand why some of you might not be sold on canned food yet, and I myself am not certain about it. But, I've decided that I'm going to be the human test subject for the couch. I am going to be eating canned food every day for lunch, all of the month of December. And I don't know what the outcome of this is going to be, but it'll be interesting. This is for science, people. This is for science. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself weighed, and we'll see what our starting point is. Okay, so here we are at the official Couch Weight Center, where you figure out what your weight is. And I'm going to step on this scale. So, I, I haven't done this in a long time, I don't like to look at my weight. So, my official weight right now is 193.8 pounds. So, not too bad, but I'm going to try to lose quite a lot of this through the magic of canned food. So, to close off, I'm going to go ahead and show you the stuff I'm going to be eating for the next month. We have got... Jumbo Squid. I believe I ate this before on my show. Um, it might have been also the Calamari. I think I ate maybe both of them. The Calamari and the Jumbo Squid. And speaking of Jumbo Squid, here's some more Jumbo Squid. I'm a big fan of the Jumbo Squid. Ooh, sardines and oil. I've had these before. They're really, they really taste fresh. If anything, I'd say these were healthy. I mean, they've got to be. They, they, they t definitely taste good. They're very fresh tasting. Ah, mussels. So, I, I, I don't really see any difference between oysters and mussels and clams. I think they all taste exactly alike. I'm sure you all will be like, well, this, the mussels have a little bit tangier of a taste or something. I don't notice any difference. Oysters. Uh, these, are, these are some of my favorite. I've had them before. Um... Very good, actually. I think they taste really good out of the can. And finally, we've got baby smoked clams. I don't know why. That's not a good marketing device, saying baby. That just makes you feel really bad. So, but, you know, it's just worth a try. This is the one that I'm least excited about. Anyways, you all want to see me go ahead and eat a can? Okay. But we're going to do this in a fun way. I'm going to put them all in the bag here. I'm just going to randomly. Oysters and oil. Oh, this is always a good one. Beautiful blue packaging. Love that bright blue collar. Okay. And then you just, all you gotta do is, I, I love that they have this thing. There's some cans where they don't give you like a lid. You have to open it with a can opener for some reason. And look at that. Look how many oysters. Let's see if it's a dozen. I said that it was about a dozen oysters you could get in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. More than a dozen oysters for a dollar. That, that's prices you can't beat. You get that juice? They say the juice is the most unhealthy uh, part of it for you. That actually the food inside is probably better, but oh well. Again, remember folks, botulism in canned food is extremely rare. It's grown-up talk. Grown-up talk. Mmm, it's really good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Is anyone grossed out by oysters? Mmm. I actually really like them. A lot of people say they don't like oysters because they look like boogers, but I've never seen this coming out of anybody's nose, so I'm not seeing the booger comparison. This video will probably come out later in the month, but I will be eating canned food for the whole month, you should know. So, since December 1st, I've been eating canned food. I might have made this episode, it's probably going to be released a little later on. I have to do the editing and stuff. Mm. Delicious.